So this is a walkthrough for Lost in Firefly Forest. Um, I assume if you're here, then you've already uh, started playing the game, at least. You're probably stuck. So I'm going to jump right into it. And uh, But in case you stumbled upon this and it looks cool and you want to check it out, the link is in the description and pinned comment. So. And I have my microphone on so that I can explain what's going on and not just wave my mouse around to like try to edit circles in later. But yeah, at the beginning of the game, you could just take random paths until you get to the well. You don't actually need to do anything here, you can just continue on more random paths. None of the, uh, like, the paths from later in the game actually work yet until you've collected this, the first clue. Uh, so, now we can get back to the well by going back and forth. And we can talk to this person. Uh, it's just the walk in a circle clue. So, now the clue tells us to walk in a counterclockwise circle to get to the lake. So, we can do that. And walking in a clockwise circle. Here we go, take. Walking in a clockwise circle uh, takes you to the three wise women set. So, this is um, the clue to this puzzle here. Uh, it means you have to make these guys Look toward the center, the rock, make them look away, and throw another rock. And we can go in here, get a path up here, and we get another clue. So I'm not going to go to the women yet because we won't really be able to do anything with anything. But um, if we follow this clue, you don't need to start at the lake for this clue. You go first to the west and back, then to the east and back, that's one, two, and then three is to the north and back, and four is to the south and back, and that takes you to the tree. And this explains what to do with the tree, arms, uh, read like, like a clock, 405. So that's the correct arrangement. And then we go east and then north. And we got this clue, which is find the moon. So, if you've done exploring, you may have figured out where the moon is. But in order to get there, we have to go to the Three Wise Women statue and then go to the left. Oh, yeah, this tells you. Yeah, you just get to a new location by walking in a straight line, either left, up, or right from the statue for long enough, so if you walk left, you get to the outhouse, which uh, has a moon on it. So that's the moon that uh, they're referring to here. So now if we go west, left, south, which is down, east, which is right, and then again west, south, east, now we're at the graveyard. So we can't do that yet, but that says read in chronological order. So the, the correct order is second stone, third stone, fourth stone, fifth stone, the fourth stone, and the headstone. Just based on the years that are on each of them. And then this ghost appears. 
and take this on this random path. Oh, that would be good R&D in a speedrun. Too bad I'm not speedrunning right now. And then we get to this crypt. We go in here. Very spooky. Collect the rope. Nothing else in here. And then we can go back to the well and use the rope to climb down the well. Uh, so now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, over here, it's three dots is left, as it said on the other sign over there. Here, I'll read it. One dot is continue forward, two dots is turn right for the guy, not you. And three dots is turn left. So here, turn left, continue, turn left, turn right, turn right, continue, 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 turn right, turn right, turn left, turn right, turn left, turn left, continue, continue, over here, then it's turn left, turn turn right, turn right, continue, turn right, turn right, turn left. And then this is where people tend to screw up. Continue, continue. And then remember that you're approaching from a different direction. So turning left from here now takes you up. You get that clue. Uh, which is the fourth wise woman started at the lake. I'll explain that in a minute. First, let's go get the plunger. This is in the maze. And you probably figured out that if you stand still, uh, it will show you the walls. and. If it doesn't, then it's glitching. So yeah, we can go down here. Around the outside, which is the maze's gimmick. If you don't go around the outside, you cannot get the plunger. And... here and now let's go to the right the solution to that is up here you want to follow this path write it down if you can't remember it we get through here here like this way corner back and here and we can climb up this ladder. That's why it's best to do that one last. Because uh, you. Actually, you could climb back down. But anyway, then we opened up the cave. But we're not going to go straight there. Because the next uh, logic step, this next step in the logic flow is the fourth wise woman. This just means. Well, first we can go to the lake, which is this. Here we are. And this means you have to go south from the lake, because the other three women went uh, west, east, and north from the statue. But the idea is that the fourth wise woman didn't start at the statue. That's why she's not there. So the direction she went is south. So it's just like the uh, the other path. You just continue south from the lake until you find something. And here we are at the tower. So for now, we'll just pick up the shovel. And then... We have to go back. Oops, I'm going in a circle the wrong way. Back to the three women. Back to the outhouse. And back to the graveyard. West. South, west, and then we can use this here. So that's this 
foil, which is for the cave that we opened up. And you get to that by going north, up from the tree and the statue. Okay. Of course, you can't get in unless you have been through the right path in the well. But, so this is, uh, yeah. The way you do this is if you have this clue, it's pretty trivial because it lies right over. Otherwise, it's nearly impossible. Got to get the cart to the right side. Like so, navigate it through the maze. There we go, and the box opens, you get the lighter. So now we want to take the lighter back to the tower. Which is the area south of the lake. Again, these obviously aren't like laid out on a map. You can't draw a map of them. then we want to draw the, uh, I mean, we want to light the candles that outline the, these two triangles here. So these ones and these ones. But the entire design is made up of four triangles. So that's the correct pattern. Candles. And select this. This is the firefly clue. So now we want to go east from the three women that there again. We go in this direction. we get to the firefly area which is here and now we want to take the path with three fireflies which is here and the path with one firefly which is up here three these are randomized as well two uh, two again Three, and then ignore the fireflies and just go west twice. And here's the final clue. Oh, except it's not actually the final clue. I lied because I forgot to get the uh, one in the outhouse. Which you can normally get it on your way to the graveyard the second time. But um, I forgot. So we're going to go back. See, we have the plunger. So, the toilet paper clue. There it is. Apparently, the order of the clues is set no matter what order you pick them up in. That's interesting. But yeah, we want to go to the tower first, which means going to the lake. statue and now to the tree which reminder on the pattern is this one and it does not matter whether you started the lake or not so in this case we actually can't we 
because if we go back to the lake and break the sequence. So here we are at the tree. And now we need to go back to the well, which is just back and forth a few times. Here we are at the well. And now, north, east, north. So here we are in the tree stump area. Uh, this applies here. Uh, but, so you may, it may take you a few tries to get it, but I believe if you start over, you don't have to like actually leave to reset it. So the pattern is up around the upper one twice, then around these two, back around this one, back around here, circle this one, and then like this. And the vine that was at the top of the area is gone. So now we're basically done. We just have to light these with the lighter. Door open. And... We beat the game. So, I hope this helped. This game just came out so nobody else had made a walkthrough yet. I thought I'd do it. Uh, and hopefully it helped to have me actually explaining it as well. Uh, if you still have any questions, you can leave them in the comments and I'll uh, hopefully notice them and uh, explain and clarify. So, yeah, thanks for watching.